Hey everybody, what's up? My name's Joni, and as you can see, I'm in a little bit of trouble right now. You're probably thinking, oh man, she's a good girl. She doesn't deserve this. Well, truth is, I worked real hard to get to this point in my life. In fact, I earned this moment. You want to know how? Well, it all started six months ago. She's good, ask her. Hey girl, we're having a party this weekend. Wanna come? What about her? Joan, the new chick? She goes by Joni, and yeah, I think she'd be perfect. What do you think? I think you need to go to the supermarket and buy yourself a can of good taste, because apparently you don't have any. Hey Joni, we're having a party this weekend. It'd be really great if you could make it. It's Saturday. Bring a bathing suit, okay? See, told you she'd be a bad idea. I saw what you were doing. What were we doing? You were checking out all the cute girls, and then you'd pick who gets to go to your party and who doesn't. All right, whatever. You're not invited. Come on, Annabelle, let's go. I'll catch up with you. Don't listen to her. It's my party, and I hope you can make it. I'm obviously not like those other girls. Why me? Because you seem nice. Do I have to have a reason? Yo, I smell what you're doing in there. These are for mom, not you. Oh, come on. Dude, you wait saw me last time, she didn't get any. Hey. Nobody makes these better than me. For once in your life, you're right about something. Oh. What's wrong? Are you okay? <sighs> I'm gonna call mom. No, don't do that. I'm fine. I just had a burrito for lunch with extra Jalapenos. Oh, I'm okay. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, Mom. You need help carrying in? That's okay. I'm fine. Who baked the brownies? Peter did. <laughs> They're awful. You're not going to want any. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Make sure you grab some before she eats them all. Okay. Thanks, honey. Later. <sighs> so, how are things at the supermarket? Oh, same old boring story. How was your day? Okay. Um... I got invited to a party. You did? Yeah. Are you gonna go? I don't know. I don't think so. Why not? I just, I don't know anybody. Oh, come on. You're always complaining that you're never invited to anything. You should go. What's wrong? I don't, I don't feel good about myself these days. Honey. I don't have anything to wear. Well, there's only one remedy for that, you know. Mom. All right, don't get all slobbery on me. You're ruining all my hard work. <laughs> How come you never gave me a makeover before? I tried. You wouldn't let me. Oh, oh look at the time. You got to go. I don't want you to be late. Go get dressed. Okay. okay. You clean up good, girl. I mean, you look really beautiful. Nice dress. Let's go get some drinks. Wow, you must be doing something right. Charney never says anything that nice to me. I'm sorry about earlier. You're okay. You're just tough. We like that. Okay, enough of the formalities. You gotta meet Danny. Danny, say hi to Joni, my favorite new friend. Hi, hold this. I'm gonna load you up. Sure. 
She's the girl I told you about? Right. Right, right, right. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Good. I'm gonna change the music. So Annabelle tells me you're the smartest person in school. Well, I don't know about that. Where are you going to college? MIT, if I get in. I hear it's a great school. I just hope. You travel much? Excuse me? Do you travel? You know, on airplanes? Oh, um, a little. You ever been anywhere? Europe, Mexico? Nebraska, once. To see my cousins. Cool. Joni, you ever play ping pong? Uh, not really. Come on, we're gonna play those guys. Let's go. You like? Oh, she's got the perfect look. You done good. Thanks. Boss. I don't know. Times Square is so, you know, seen it once, that's enough. But the shopping in New York is the bomb. Ugh, I can't wait. East Coast guys are so... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Someone's going to New York? We are, this weekend. And you are too, if you want. <laughs> right. No, I mean it. Remember Danny from the party? He runs a business calibrating these really expensive camera lenses for okay. photographers. Okay, so? Well, these lenses are super fragile and he can't ship them by mail. He needs people to deliver them by hand. Where's couriers? We get paid to travel. And this weekend, he needs three of us to go to New York. Free trip to the Big Apple, all expenses paid. Danny doesn't even know me. I put in a good word for you. He said he liked you. Just say yes. Please. Okay, yes. <gasps> When mom's getting home? She works late tonight. Where are you going? I'm gonna spend the weekend at Annabelle's house. Who? You don't know her. Did you tell mom? Yeah, she knows. What are you, my warden? Where does Annabelle live? Sherman Oaks. It's gonna be 90 degrees this weekend. Why are you taking a down jacket to Sherman Oaks? Where are you going? Can you keep a secret? Maybe. What's it worth to you? Peter, I swear to God. All right, all right. I won't say anything. New York. No way. Oh, my Uber rides here. You gotta tell mom. I'm not telling mom. Whoa, and you whoa, don't whoa. either. I'll be back Sunday. Why are you going to New York? I'll explain later. Look, if she asks if you heard from me, you tell her I just texted you and I'm okay. Don't give me that look. Who taught you to play baseball? Who told you about the birds and the bees so you didn't have to hear it from mom? You did. That's right. You owe me. I love you. Love you too. See ya. I gotta stop with the burritos. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Oh, yeah. This is nice. This is nice. Yeah, you guys did not disappoint. We only bring you the best, don't we? Seat. I'll be right down. Pleasure. Thank you, like always. Hey, pleasure. Tell me. We're all set. All right, now, Joni, whatever you do, do not drop the camera case, all right? 
Got it. Professional photographers are a finicky bunch, lose their focus, and they lose their job. Pardon my pun. Wow, heavy. You'll get used to it. Itineraries, hotel confirmation, and 500 each for spending money. Danny is really good to us. Well, you ladies are an important part of the business. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're going to be late for your flight. Let's go. Call me when you get there, all right? All right. Be smart. Is this your case? Uh, yes. Put that on and follow me. something wrong? I need you to turn the camera on, please. This is your camera, right? Here it is. Thank you, ma'am. Have a fun trip. Thanks. You must be Joni. Yeah, hi. Oh, come on, Tucker. Give her a kiss and a hug like you did for us. Yeah, win in Rome, right? Oh! Oh, oh! oh my God, he has never kissed me that way. I'm starving, Tucker. You better have food. So, you work with the photographers here? Uh, Danny does all the hard technical work. I'm really just a glorified sales rep. I get the orders, ship the lenses to Danny, he calibrates them, then he sends them back. All right, Charnay and I are just gonna hang out here. Tucker, why don't you show Joni around the city? Oh, great idea. That be okay? So are we gonna go dancing tonight or what? Am I wearing you out? No, I love it all. I can't believe it. I feel like Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Tiffany's? You like diamonds? Why, you're gonna buy me one? No, no, you just, you know, curious. All girls like diamonds. That's what I hear.
am so pissed at you right now. Yeah, after 20 messages from you, I kind of figured that out. New York, you fly across the country and you don't tell me? I taught you better than this, Joni. What is the matter with you? Yo, Joni, you go to New York, you don't tell nobody. What's the matter with Back you? Back it off, Peter. Why didn't you tell me? Because I wanted to surprise you. I got a new job and it's awesome. What? Look, what is this? See here? It says we service some of the world's finest camera lenses. Picked up and delivered by professional couriers. That's me. I'm a professional courier. But Amazon ships lenses all the time through the mail. They don't need couriers to carry them on airplanes. Well, the lenses I carry are a lot more expensive than the crap you get on Amazon. And for your information, I'm carrying some to Chicago Friday night. Wait, what? It's not as far as New York, Mom. Now, hold on. You're not going. Mom, I'm 18. I don't need your approval for everything I do. You're still in school. We only fly on weekends. I won't miss any classes. I don't care. You are still in high school, and as long as you live in my house, you will do what I- It's not your house. We rent. Remember? Here. Thousand bucks. It's yours. When I get back from Chicago, there's gonna be more. They pay you in cash? Oh my God. Can't you just say thank you? This is the first time in my life I've gone anywhere or done anything. This is like a really big deal for me and all you can do is... <laughs> and if you care, I met someone. ships lenses all the time through the mail. They don't need couriers to carry them on airplanes. They pay you in cash? I need to use the ladies' room. I'll meet you on the other side. Where do you think she went? I don't know. Uh, let's go this way. Joni? Why are there diamonds? Shh. Give me a minute. What the hell is going on? Shut up. If you say anything, we're all going to jail, including you. I knew she'd be a problem. Charnay, you're going to Chicago by yourself. Take all three cases. Triple my share. I want to talk to Danny. Oh, you're gonna talk to him already. Let's go. So, what the hell are you? Danny's pimp? It's not like that. Sure it is. You got me to come to that party so Danny could check me out. I'm such an idiot. I should have known you were setting me up. Why are you mad at me? You should be thanking me. Thanking you? For what? You took the money, didn't you? Because I thought it was a legitimate business. It is a legitimate business. The camera side is totally kosher. It's the diamond side that's sturdy. Oh, that makes me feel better already. Would you calm down? Charnay and I have done this so many times, it's getting boring. 
Are you seriously trying to tell me there's no chance we could get busted? The only chance of us getting busted is if one of us freaks out in front of the TSA, which is what you just did, Joni. You! <sighs> Danny and Tucker are gonna be so pissed. Wait, Tucker knows what you're doing? Tucker's a part of this? Of course he is. Danny and Tucker are equal partners. Charnay's got all three cases? Take it easy. She sent me a text. She's on the plane. Everything's fine. You gonna go to the cops? She's not gonna say anything. I wanna hear it from her. I won't go to the police. If I do, I know I'll get in trouble too. Mm -hmm. yeah, if I go down, I'm taking you with me. And you. And Charnay. Nobody's gonna talk, Danny. Chill. We're all in this together. Face, you know that? Yeah. Yeah, there's not a cop in the world who would think you'd do something bad. And in my business, a face like yours has value. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I want her to stay on. Not crazy at all. I'm down with that. Why didn't you tell me what we were shipping? I was going to tell you eventually. Just wanted to see how you did. These diamonds, are they stolen or something? <laughs> no. No, not at all. It's completely legit. Only reason we gotta hide it from TSA is to avoid paying huge taxes on them. That's all? That's it? Joni, I'm cheating on my taxes. Chances are your mom probably cheats on her tax return once in a while, too. Everybody does it. Like I said, there's really no risk. And with innocent looking girls like you, moving small amounts, we're totally under the radar. So, now that you're fully informed, in a party to our little secret, you're entitled to a full cut. On top of the grand I gave you for New York, there's 9K more. It's 10,000 total. You'd have made another 10 had you gone to Chicago today. Take it. You earned it. Joni, I've saved enough money for four years at UCLA. Charney's putting a down payment on a beach house. And we're in high school. Do you know anybody else our age who can say that? I promise I won't tell the police. I won't tell anybody. I just want you to leave me alone. Please. She's dead. Wait! She's smart. She knows what would happen. She'll stay quiet. You brought her into this. She screws up, that's on you. Hey. How are you? You lied to me. I'm sorry. You should have told me. It's complicated. Not that complicated. You knew what you were getting me into. Danny should tell people before it gets to this. All right? It's just his way of testing their loyalty before anything. Before what? Before trapping us so there's no way out? So when you and Danny get busted, we all get busted? Look, Danny and I tried to make the lens business work, all right? But things got tight. I'm done with all of you. Please, Joni, I can't stop thinking. Honey, I'm off to work. Dinner's on the stove. Peter, did you hear me? Take off those headphones and stop playing that stupid video game. Peter! Oh, my God! Honey, what's the matter? What's going on? What are you doing here? Is he all right? Okay, can you just lock the door and help me get him in the car? We're going to the hospital. I thought you were in Chicago. Change of plans. Thank you, doctor. Sure thing.
what they say? Well, they have him on painkillers, and then they're going to keep him overnight, and he could go home in the morning. He just needs to rest. Yeah, but what's wrong with him? He has cancer of the small intestine. I mean, they have to do more tests, but they're pretty certain that's what it is. So they can do something, right? Chemotherapy or radiation or something? They think it's more advanced than that. And they think that the only thing they can do now is transplant. Oh, well, transplant. Then he's going to be OK, right? Yeah, honey. All right. Yes. Thank you for your time. <sighs> I knew it. What? Well, it turns out that transplant of the small intestine happens to be the most expensive surgery in all of medicine. You have health insurance, right? Yeah, but it's not going to cover everything. And because he has other options, like radiation or chemotherapy, a transplant is considered elective surgery. So it's not covered. I did the math, and my out-of-pocket expenses are so high, I will literally be paying them off for, well, <laughs> the rest of my life. That's insane. How is that even possible? It's called the American Healthcare System, honey. And believe me, it is possible. You could file for bankruptcy. Actually, I can't. Remember when your dad took off and screwed up our finances? Well, I had to file Chapter 7 back then, and I can't do it again for another five years. What if I didn't go to college? What if I got a job instead? No, you are going to college. But, Mom... What if I didn't get the surgery? Why are you up? You should be resting. And you weren't supposed to hear this. I'm serious. I don't want you to have to work for the rest of your life to pay for this, Mom. Oh, and what are you going to do? Just, what, die? Yeah, it's a whole lot cheaper than surgery. OK, both of you, just stop. Sweetie, come here. I shouldn't have said anything. Look, we are going to get through this, OK? Can I talk to you? Please. Annabelle. Annabelle. What? Can you talk to Danny? I want to work with you again. Fat chance. You have to. I brought you in, and you made me look like an idiot. I'm sorry. Do you have any idea how much money your little episode at the airport cost me? Danny wants nothing to do with you. Says you're poison. Tell him I'll make it up to him. I'll do anything he wants. Please, Annabelle. I just found out that my little brother is really sick. Take off your clothes. Now. She's clean, no wire. Annabelle tells me you want back in. I do. Why? I need money. I gave you a lot of money. You threw it in my face. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Her little brother just got diagnosed with cancer. Hmm. So, you need me more than I need you. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Get on your knees. Beg. Please. <laughs> Please what? Please let me work for you. So you can be trusted? 
You work for a discounted rate. How much? I'll decide how much. Okay. And if you even look at a cop... I won't. I'll be good. Annabelle, 10,000. Charnay, 10,000. Joni. Five hundred. What are you doing here? I thought you were in New York. Uh, Danny asked me to come back, take care of some things. I'm staying at his place for a while. Can I buy you a coffee? Uh, no. Please? I didn't plan on doing this. I studied architecture. But that was going nowhere, so... Uh, my old friend Danny, from high school, texted me, said he needed help in the camera business. Which then became this other kind of business. Hey, I'm not proud of what we do. But there was so much money to be made. It was hard to say no. You understand, right? What I understand is I'm doing this to save my brother's life and keep my mom out of indentured servitude. You're doing it to get rich. Game, set, match. You win. If I'm gonna hang out with you, you gotta tell me when you're going to quit. And you need to make me believe it. So, finish the sentence. I, Tucker, am going to quit this awful business when... When... I have enough money to start my own business? In architecture? In architecture. With an office for me? with an office for you. And? Uh, and when I can, uh, I'll buy a house in the hills. I don't like driving on hills. Make it the valley. A house in the valley, fine. Big enough to raise a family. Four kids. Two max. And I'm not getting pregnant until I'm 30. OK. Well, just. Please tell me that's the end of the sentence. It might need a rewrite, but for now, it'll work. I'm starving. Good morning. Good morning. Mm, I gotta catch a plane. Okay. Hmm. When's the next time you're gonna be in LA? I don't know. But I'll call you. What's going on? Don't get
get too cozy with the mules. They can't be trusted. Especially that one. You're being paranoid. You're being paranoid, dude. Annabelle, 10,000. Charnay, 10,000. Joni, 2,000. Not bad, kid. Thank you, ladies. Nice work. Ten thousand. Joni. Ten thousand. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. We're just getting started. you something. Peter, you too. Oh, I got a phone call from one of your teachers today. She said you're handing in your homework late. That's not like you. I know. I'll catch up soon, I promise. Okay. Hi, honey. What's going on? Come here. Look at this. What is that? This is Peter's crowdfunding site. What? $200,000? <gasps> People just donate like that? They want to help. That's what they do when someone really deserves it. And you deserve it. <laughs> this is just, wow, incredible. I can't believe it. Show me how many people donated. Can you scroll down? Whoa, dude, who are these people? I don't know any of these names. That's the whole point. Most of them are total strangers just trying to help. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, isn't this great? Mom, can you fasten my necklace? Yeah, sure. Wow, you look amazing. Something special happening tonight? Uh, just meeting the girls for dinner. Oh, must be some dinner. <laughs> Need a ride? Uh, no, I'm gonna take a lift. Oh, where's dinner? Uh, it's a new place. I can't remember the name, but don't wait up.
Reservation for Danny Keller? Right over there. Thank you. Hi. How was your flight? Long. Had a six hour delay in Denver yesterday. Oh, you're kidding. We see my. What is going on here? You followed me? Who is he? Uh, this is Tucker. I told you about him. I thought you said he was your age. How old are you? Hi, Mrs. Whitaker. I'm 24. 24? And you're dating a girl that is still in high school? Mom, please. It's an honest question, Joni. I'm 18. I'm an adult. Really? If you're so grown up, why did you lie to me about his age? Because I knew you would freak out. Tucker, I hear you uh, just travel all around the country. Bet you have a girlfriend in every city, don't you? All right, you need to leave. Now. Wait, Joni. Please. Mrs. Whitaker, you're absolutely right. I am too old for your daughter, and I should not be dating her. Oh, yes, you should. And I'm very sorry, and I hope you can forgive me, but you need to know how much I care about your daughter. I'm sure you do. No. No, seriously. She's brilliant. She's funny. And most of all, she's incredibly brave. I have learned so much from her. Yeah, she said you were a good salesman. I am. And she said you were a great mom. Is that so? She tells me how difficult it's been for you, raising her all alone, how many hours you work at your job. She tells me that while her other friends hate their mothers, that you are her best friend. So anyway, for the record, I don't have any other girlfriends in any cities. Just Los Angeles. Just Joni. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. It's been great meeting you. Okay, Tucker, just wait a minute. You must be Joni's mom. Danny Kellogg. Uh, these are Joni's travel partners, Charnay, Annabelle. Hi. Nice to meet you. I see you've met Tucker. You two girls go to Lexington High, don't you? Um, yeah. If Joni has been a terrific addition to the company, and tonight's little dinner is my way of expressing my thanks to an incredible team. Hell yeah! <laughs> Charnay, Annabelle, sit here. Uh, w would you like to join us? Can we get one more seat? No, no, it's all right. I'll let you guys have your little celebration. I will see you at home. You have a very Interesting business, Mr. Kellogg. Thank you. Who's ready to drink? Let's do it. Yes. See those three girls over there? They're all under 21. Oh, great. Thanks, Mom. When you brought her mom to dinner, what was that all about? I can't believe you did that. He's too old for you. He said he thought you were nice. I think he's nice too, but I don't think you should be dating a guy that age. He says he's willing to wait a few years to date. He should. But whether you like it or not, I'm in love with him, and I'm going to keep seeing him. I don't like that Danny. What a surprise. He's a smooth operator. I get a really bad vibe from him. Mom, I need you to trust me on this. My involvement with these guys is a really good thing. What do you mean by that? Good night. That's weird. What? I count 16 rocks. So? Should be 17. I ordered 17. Danny, 
packs the cases. Not me. Well, he's only getting paid for 16. Hey, Olivia, how you doing? You were short. What are you talking about? I ordered 17, you sent me 16. Uh, pretty sure I sent you 17. Danny, have I ever lied to you? No worries. I'll, uh, I'll make it up to you on the next one. that are sending her all around the country. New York, Chicago, Miami. Supposedly for some career business. Mm. Sounds like an awesome gig. Really? I mean, it sounds fishy to me. What's fishy about it? Well, for starters, my daughter is still in high school. Is your daughter a minor? No, she's over 18. But it's the owner that I'm really concerned about. He's got a criminal record. What's his name? Daniel Kellogg. I did a background check on him. He was arrested for drug possession. I did a printout. Mm-hmm. Used to sell pot. Well, it's pretty small-time stuff. Why would a former pot dealer hire girls still in high school, send them all over the country, making deliveries, and then claim that he owns his business repairing camera lenses? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Uh, here's a form I need you to fill out. You know what? I don't appreciate your attitude. This is my little girl that we're talking about. Mrs. Whitaker, your daughter is not a little girl. She's an adult. And from what you've told me, there's no evidence of any crime. Well, can't you just, you know, investigate him? Not without good reason. Okay. You're no help. I want to talk to your supervisor. Well, that'll be another form. Where are you going? <sighs> yeah, it's me. Hey, I got a question for you. Who do you know at the FBI? How was DC? The usual. Easy peasy. Easy peasy? You know, that phrase originated in England. It's called a reduplication. Yeah. Repeating words that sound alike. Kind of silly, really. Look at that. Silly, really. Now you got me doing it. All right, let's eat. I'm starving. And Olivia? How's Olivia? Fine. Kind of an airhead. Yeah, she can be an airhead. Probably has a tough time keeping things straight, you think? Like numbers? Maybe. Yeah, because a strange thing happened. Thank you. You're welcome. She's always been really good about paying, but this time it was weird. She ordered 17 diamonds, but only paid for 16. I was actually going to ask you about that. There were only 16 diamonds in that case. There it is. I must have miscounted when I loaded them in the case to begin with. My bad. Hey, we all make mistakes. You've been real busy, Danny. You can say that again. You've been real busy, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. That's, that's, that's a good one. I'm funny. <laughs> you know, part of the reason I like to send the three of you on deliveries together is so you can keep an eye on each other. That way mistakes don't happen. Danny, I swear there were only 16. I know. That's what Olivia said. But the more I think about it, I'm really certain I loaded 17 diamonds in the case. I know if I had 17 diamonds on me and thought maybe I could pocket one and no one would know, I'd be tempted. It's... 
only one rock, Danny. You can take it out of my pay. All right? Sure. No problem. You want something to drink? Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. Sorry, Danny. Hope you're not mad at me. <laughs> when you're done in the kitchen, get a mop and a shovel from the garage. Where's Charnay? I haven't seen her in a week. She's, um... Keep this quiet, but Charnay took a bunch of Danny's diamonds and ran off. You're kidding. I know, right? Has anybody heard from her? How about her parents? They must be freaking out. Charnay's dad is in prison, and her mom's a tweaker. They probably don't even know she's gone. Don't worry about Charnay. She's better off now. But be careful around Danny. He's really pissed. Don't talk to him about her. Did she say anything to you? I mean... Joni, I said, don't even mention her name. All right? All right. Danny wants to talk to us after school. Big shipment going to Cleveland. How big? Make a lot. What about getting it through? I thought we agreed to keep the amount small so we stay under the radar. Yeah, fine, you don't want a piece of this? I'll give it all to Joni. You good with that? Yeah, but if it's a big amount, I'd rather have Annabelle come with me. All right, I guess, but I don't like it. these guys alone all by herself I was freaking out I was scared too but I'm glad you were with me well, Annabelle here's your cut Joni here's yours you saved me a lot of money here's an extra thousand thanks Joni I'm putting you in charge of the next trip wait what you got a problem with that No. I got work to do. I'll see you. Don't forget who brought you into this business. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have any of that money. I know, and I'm grateful. You better be. I'm Danny's top girl, and he's still my boyfriend. You got it? Relax, he's not my type. As soon as my brother's in the clear, I'm gone. 
And then you can have Danny and this entire sick business all to yourself. Cool. I'm gonna be fine. I love you, honey. Love you too. I got this. Hey, reinforcements. What are you doing here? How long has he been in there? Going on three hours. I, I hear this type of surgery takes a long time. Well, thanks for coming. You really didn't have to. No, I, I, I wanted to. Smells good. Thank you, Tucker. Hey, what's up? Nothing special. Just thought I'd drop by, show you my new dress. Nice. Kind of busy right now. Hmm. I think you could use a break. I know what you're up to. What am I up to? You're worried about Joni. Joni? Why would I worry about Joni? You're afraid you're gonna lose your spot in the company. You don't love me. You love the money. Okay, I love the money. But I love you too. Do you? Yeah. Come back in an hour. But just so you know, it's not going to guarantee anything. So? What'd they say? They said the cancer is completely gone. The new organ's doing great. He'll be here for at least a week, but... They say he's gonna be 100% real soon. I told you I'd nail this. I want a picture. Oh, good idea. Let me do it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we're going on three, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. Got it. Tucker, get in here. Really? Yeah. yeah. Come on, get over here. Okay, okay, let's do it. All right. Going on three again, okay? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three. Why aren't you texting me back? Yeah, sorry. My brother just had his surgery. Been kind of busy. How's he doing? Good. He's probably gonna come home next week. That's great. Hey, uh, I got a delivery. He needs to go to Detroit. Danny, I don't think I'm gonna do this anymore. Oh, man, that kind of sucks. You've been doing so great. Yeah, well, now that I paid off my brother's surgery, I'm done. Thank you for everything. It's a lot of money. Biggest payday yet. I can't. You want to go to MIT, right? This job will pay for your first year. Seriously? Okay, but this is the last time. All right. I'll be back on Sunday. Be careful in Detroit, and don't drink the water. I'm gonna go wait outside for my ride. Okay, honey. Love you. Love you too. Call me when you land. I will, I promise. Love you. Be safe.
Joni Whitaker? Yes. I'm Detective Espinoza, LAPD. This is Agent Hope with the Department of Homeland Security. Can we talk to you for a minute, please? Hello, Mrs. Whitaker. Good to see you again. I can't right now. I have a plane to catch to- Detroit. We know. Generally, we have reason to believe that you've been transporting illegal diamonds, which is a very serious offense. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Diamonds? What is going on here? What are they talking about? I have no idea. She'll talk to you. Joni! Thank you, detectives. We'll take it from here. Glad I could help. I only did this to pay for my brother's surgery. This was going to be my last job. It's all about saving money on some taxes, Mom. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal? Really? Have you heard of conflict diamonds, Joni? Also known as blood diamonds? No. No, they come from West Africa. And they're illegal. Do you know why? The guy is dead run these diamond mines, they use slave labor. Men, women, and children. Let's say you're working in one of these mines and you make a mistake, you try to steal a diamond. Do you know what they do to you? No. They cut off your hand or your arm, sometimes your leg. This has been going on for decades. Thousands of amputations. We think uh, maybe three or four million people have died because of these diamonds that you, Joni, are transporting right here in this case. Oh, and uh, if you can't relate to these pictures of strange brown people in Africa, let me show you a picture you can relate to. The terrorist group that attacked us on 9-11 is still in operation. Guess how they launder their money? Don't believe me? Look it up. We've uh, had our eyes on Danny Kellogg for a long time now. We think he may be working with a West African warlord. So what's gonna happen to her? Well, this was five years ago, nothing. But we've got a new sheriff in the White House, and uh, she's cracking down hard. Chances are she's gonna make an example out of Joni. So, I don't know, what, 15 years, 20? 20 years in prison? This isn't tax evasion, Mrs. Whitaker. This is terrorism. I mean, I'd give you the death penalty, but hey, that's just me. I'll cooperate. Damn right you'll cooperate. Mom, please. These people you're supposed to meet with in Detroit, do they know what you look like? I don't think so. I've never met them before. Go ahead, bring her in. Give me your contact in Detroit. What are you doing? Why are you repacking these? I'm gonna need your plane tickets and your driver's license, too. It's Agent Wilson. She's gonna be taking your place on the flight. She's gonna make the sale, bring back the money, and then you, Joni, you're gonna take the cash to Danny just like you normally would. What's the point of all this? We don't want Danny to know you're working with us. We're gonna take down his entire network. Daniel Kellogg. Annabelle Cranston. Favorite missing person, Shawnee Richmond. We can find her. And Tucker James. We want them all. What do you need my client to do? Well, we want her to set up a deal between Danny, Tucker, and this man. This is actually one of our agents working undercover. Your job, Joni, simple. All you have to do is convince Danny and Tucker to show up to the meeting. They show up, they sell the diamonds to our agent, we move in and we make the arrest. So what's your best offer? We may be able to reduce a 10 year sentence to five years in county, three years community service. No jail time, 18 months community. You're dreaming. No, I'm not. You wanna catch these guys? You gotta sweeten the deal. Three months jail time, 12 months community service, final offer. I'm writing that down. I will talk with my clients and get back to you. I think we're done here. It doesn't work that way. Usually Danny sends me and Annabelle to make the exchange. We know that. 
Your job this time will be to convince Danny and Tucker that they need to make the drop in person. But Danny's gonna know that she's lying. He's gonna know that she's trying to set him up. How does she plays it right? Oh, no, 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 this sounds way too dangerous. I, I don't like this. Georgia, don't, don't say anything right now. Look, Joni, you've been telling lies to TSA officers for several months now. You've been lying to your mom every time you leave for the airport. You could tell one more lie to your friend Danny, can't you? Thanks a lot, Mom. You're the reason I got busted. All I did was ask the police to check on Danny. I had no idea it was gonna lead to this. You should have talked to me first. I did. I told you this whole thing was a bad idea. You wouldn't listen to me. The only reason I did this was to pay for Peter's surgery. So you wouldn't have to work so hard. Don't put this on me. What did you expect me to do? Just sit back and do nothing? Well, I sure as hell didn't expect you to join a terrorist cell. They're not terrorists. They're just running a business. Stop defending them. They had you risking your life, your freedom, for them. Ever wonder why they weren't making the deliveries themselves? Because they knew someday that you would get caught. And look, here we are. Do you think that Danny's your friend? Do you think Tucker loves you? Yes. Really, then why is he back in LA? Why isn't he out there making the deals anymore? And why are you doing his job now? He loves me, mother. Oh, come on. I did not give birth to an idiot. Stop acting like one. You and Peter are the only reason I did this. What about Detroit? You got enough in the bank to pay for his surgery. You're right. Detroit was for me. For tuition. I guess I'm no better than they are. Don't say that. They took advantage of you. They tricked you. No, Mom, they didn't. I knew exactly what I was getting into. The truth is, I like making that kind of money. I mean, who wouldn't? You're right. It is a lot of money. Are they still hiring? <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. You are not a bad person. You are the most wonderful, incredible thing that's ever happened to me. And when I saw those police parked outside our house, I thought they are going to take my baby away from me. <laughs> it's going to be OK. It's going to be OK. OK, OK, that's good news. Tomorrow, what time? All right, we'll be here. Good night. Was that them? Agent Hope, everything went well in Detroit. They're going to bring the camera case and the money tomorrow at 7 AM. And then you're supposed to meet Danny and set up the meeting. Whoa. It's actually happening. Yep. I'm going to go back to bed. OK, good night. We need to talk. Why are you whispering? I can't talk on this phone. Why not? It's a perfectly good phone. Tucker, I'm serious. Please. This is really important. There's an online diner a couple blocks away from my house. Now? Yeah, right now. Honey, I've been up for 24 hours. I, I, I'm really wiped. You sure this can't wait till tomorrow? Please, I need to tell you something that's really important.
That was Tucker, wasn't it? Mom, I have to tell him. You will do no such thing. I love him. We're going to get married. Well, then you're going to be married by a prison chaplain because that's where he's going to be. Are you nuts? I got to tell him. No, you don't. Don't you get it? If the DHS finds out that you're violating the deal, you're the one that's going to be in prison, not him. I'm not a child anymore. Oh, that's right. You're 18. Well, here's your first lesson as an adult. Love makes you stupid. Trust me, I have a master's degree in falling for the wrong guy. Like dad? Exactly like dad. And I am not going to sit here and watch you ruin your life because you think you're in love with some diamond smuggler. Hey, how'd it go? Great. Yeah? Well, let's see how great it was. Hey, you called last night. Sorry, I was dead tired. I was exhausted. What do you want to talk about? Yeah, uh, actually, I wanted to talk to both of you about an opportunity. Oh, yeah? Uh, I met this guy at the hotel in Michigan, a real high roller from Dubai, some kind of chic or something, probably a billionaire. I think you might want to buy some diamonds. Wow, that's great, babe. And how did you end up talking to a total stranger about the diamonds we move? Does, does that matter? Yeah, matters a lot. Well, it's, Kind of embarrassing. I'm all ears. I'm sitting at the bar at the hotel eating my coconut chicken soup when this Arab guy comes up to me, starts hitting on me. I'm like, dude, I just want to eat my soup and go to bed. Anyway, he asks if he can buy me a drink. I say no. Then he goes, can I buy you a dress at the mall? I say no. So then he says, can I buy you a diamond necklace? Like that's supposed to turn me on or something. Says he buys rare diamonds for fun. Millions of dollars worth because he's filthy rich and he can. He shows me photos of all these Middle Eastern girls in bathing suits wearing these enormous stones. <laughs> Swear to God, I think he wanted me to come to Dubai and join his harem. <clears throat> Uh, so, uh, I took the liberty, I hope you don't mind, and I told him I might be able to arrange a deal. Did you tell him you had a boyfriend back home? <laughs> yes, I did. Check out his website. This guy's a billionaire. We could probably double our prices. There's just one problem, though. What's that? The guy says he can't make a financial deal with a woman. Some kind of religious thing. I'll call him. Cool. I gotta go. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do something fun. Thanksgiving break, go for a road trip or something. Okay, great. everything. Joni's agreements, guarantees from the government, it's all right there. Any news? Danny contacted our man in Detroit. Meeting's all set up. Joni did real well. Good. Now I need you to do something for me. My daughter's risking her life so you guys can make this big arrest. Sure, there's a promotion in there somewhere, I don't know. So you get these bastards and you put them away for good. Don't worry, we will. Call Joni. Hi, what's up? Hey, uh, I just came from the DHS. I got your file. They said Danny set up the meet. It's almost over, baby. Yeah, great. What's the matter? You don't sound too happy about this. How am I supposed to be happy when my boyfriend's going to jail? 
Oh, God, here we go again. Mom, I don't care what the feds do to Danny, but I still don't want Tucker to get in trouble. You didn't talk about this with him, did you? No. Good. Keep it that way. Don't talk about this with anyone, okay? I'll see you at home. Where's Tucker? He's not here. Why? Good. I want a piece of the business, Danny. I told you, you're fun, but that's not how this works. I have information you need. About the feds. What kind of information? Something I heard. Tell me. I need a deal first. A deal? Make me partner. 50-50 and I'll tell you. Tucker's my partner. Tucker's gonna screw you over. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> All right, you're my partner. Prove it. Okay, that worked. I overheard Joni talking on the phone. She said something about Tucker going to jail and the feds doing something bad to you. She said she wanted to save Tucker, but she didn't care what happened to you. You sure you heard this? Yeah. So what, Tucker, he's, uh, he's in on it? He's been sleeping with Joni, so what do you think? I could have kept my mouth shut and let them bust you, but I didn't. Unbelievable. Can't trust anybody. I'm your main girl, right? Of course you are. Come over to my house tonight, like 2 a.m. when my mom's asleep. Joni, what's this all about? I need to tell you in person. It's important. You'll see, I promise. Just wait, all right? Talk to me. short sentence just like us no it's too late for that no it's Joe. not he knows all the buyers danny's connections and everyone <sighs> please mom you know the feds will want him to flip it'll work you know it will <sighs> tucker hi mrs whitaker come inside
I cut a deal with the Department of Homeland Security. What? What? She knows everything. said we have to get busted? I had to, and I feel terrible about it. But I think there's a way we can fix this. All you gotta do is tell them everything you know, and the DHS will make a deal with you. Wait, why aren't you in jail right now? Why are the feds leaving you alone? They aren't after me. They want you and Danny. My lawyer says they do this kind of thing all the time. This is a lot to process right now. Please, baby, say yes. Please. All right. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Heard everything. Wow. Guess I can't trust anybody, can I? Danny, whatever you think you heard. Uh -uh. Oh, I know what I heard. Listen, can you just give me a second? Back up. All right, listen. Just take a second. I know what I heard. You get out of my way. I don't get out of my way, man. Oh, you back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Stop it! You like that, huh? About this. 911, what's your emergency? We need an ambulance. Someone's been stabbed. I need to get out of this business. Yeah. Start your own business. An architecture. An architecture. <laughs> With an office for you. With an office for me. And a house in the valley. Because you don't like you don't like driving on hills. No, I don't. Big enough for, for two kids, not four. Two's enough. How does that sound? That sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> 